these engines used in cars has the role of extracting energy from a fuel. This energy is extracted thanks to a combustion resulting from a chemical reaction and happening very fast, which produces an explosion. So in the end, we obtain a mechanical energy that shifts pistons. The shift of these pistons is transmitted to the wheels through a more or less sophisticated mechanism. Within the engine, in order to get the chemical reaction of combustion, an organic fuel is mixed with the oxygen in the air. An organic fuel is made of molecules that contains numerous carbon and hydrogen atoms. When it burns, the fuel is changed and releases CO2 and water, and above all, produces a high quantity of energy in the form of heat, which creates the explosion. Any organic material would not do a good fuel. Indeed, this matter has to contain molecules that release enough energy while burning. Among the most efficient molecules are the alkanes, such as methane, propane, butane, octane found in petrol, or cetane found in diesel oil. Nowadays, most fuels are extracted from fossil organic matter, such as crude oil or natural gas. This fossil matter comes from the decomposition of plants and animal organisms. It is composed of a complex mix of different organic components, fuels in particular. The fuels extraction occurs in a refinery as regards oil, and in a treatment plant as regards gas. Therefore, we can say that we are already driving with plants. But as we burn oil and gas a million times faster than the time required to their formation, we need to find an alternative to the fossil fuels. And this is what is at stake with biofuels, which are extracted from plants that are alive today. The fuel used has a significant role as regards the engine detail structure. For instance, diesel oil instantly burns when it is compressed, whereas petrol needs a spark to burn. Hence the difference between petrol engines and diesel engines. But there is more. For example, the viscosity of the fuel has to be taken into account in the design of mechanical pieces. To replace petrol or diesel in existing engines, we therefore need to find biofuels with the same characteristics. The ideal would be to produce the octane of the petrol or the cetane of the diesel from plants but we do not know how to do it. So, we have to look for different fuels, but with similar properties. Alcohol can be used as fuel. We know how to produce from numerous plants, such as barley for beer, wheat and potatoes for vodka, sugar cane for rum, rice for sake, sugar beet for a wide range of distilled beverages, and of course, from fruits. The fermentation of these plants produces alcohols, but essentially ethanol. Its properties are rather different from the petrol ones, so engines have to be adapted. For example, ethanol requires higher temperatures, it is more corrosive, its lubricity performance is lower, and higher flows are necessary since it is 30% less energetic than petrol. Vegetable oils such as rapeseed oil and sunflower oil can also be used as fuels. Their properties are closer to diesel, but they are much more viscous and consequently important changes have to be done in the engine. On the other hand, they can be transformed into ester, another chemical compound which has properties far more compatible with current engines. This is biodiesel. Having a car running with plants is only an economical problem because engines have to be adapted and biofuels have to be produced without penalizing the food production. On the contrary, biofuels can help save money because they are biodegradable and therefore there would be less security and pollution issues. Besides, it releases less CO2 in the atmosphere. <laughs>